What's going on, everybody? I'm Joey with DKOldies.com, and I thought I'd open up two new game collections that came into the shop today. This is my favorite part of working here at the shop, is seeing what comes in in the new collections. And what's so fun about this, I have no idea what's in these boxes, just like you, so we're gonna check them out here together. All right, first collection, here we go. I see GameCube, Wii stuff, I, a Wii's down here also. Look at this giant sensor bar. <laughs> Here's power cords and cables and whatnot for the GameCube system. Oh, Mario Wii. Love this one. Good find. What's going on, Grady? Good to see you guys. Hey, Doge. Here's an Indigo GameCube. And whoa, check it out down here on the bottom. It actually has the Game Boy Player attached to it. I was just using this Game Boy Player the other day. One thing that's kind of neat, there's an eject button on the Game Boy Player that I never realized. It kind of spits the Game Boy games out. Let's see if there's a bonus game. Oh, there is a game in here. Cabela's Outdoor Adventures. Cool find. Also, Cabela's Outdoor... Oh, wait, this is the game. <laughs> What's up, little Yote? Doom 64, a good one. That's one of my absolute favorites. Congrats on beating it. Wii Sports, fantastic one. Yo, Jackie, we were so excited to hit 100,000. I know, that was big news. We're all real excited about it here. Thank you. NCAA, here's a GameCube game. Um, cables for hooking up GameCube. Oh, wow, here's the disc. The Game Boy Player Disc. So, just like I was saying, with this Game Boy Player attachment, it, one of the requirements is you need to have this disc inside in order to play the Game Boy games. And these discs are hard to find, so it's really cool to be able to get one in. We sell these on our site individually, if you already have the Game Boy Player, and then also bundled together with the player. Crazy Taxi, good one. I remember playing Crazy Taxi on the Dreamcast. NASCAR Thunder. Madden 2005 here. 007 Nightfire. I love the 007 games. Big fan of Goldeneye myself. Oh, I'd love to check this one out. Yes, and we do. We've got tons of stuff. Tons of stuff up on our site right now. Appreciate it, Joshua. Sonic Mega Collection. Got a bunch of Sonic fans amongst our audience. Oh, wow. Well. Zelda Collector's Edition. Cool find. There are a couple Zelda games on the GameCube, and they are all popular. Luigi's Mansion is another cool find. Yeah, there might be some DS stuff in here for sure. Who knows? Mario Kart Double Dash. What do you say about this one? Mario Kart is one of my favorite racing games. I grew up on the Super Nintendo version. But Double Dash, when it added in being able to play as a, like two players on the same card, I thought that was such a neat right. twist on it. Here's Sims. Nice little GameCube collection this person had here. Here are the Wii Motes. Wii is such a cool system too. The Wii has been so popular for us this year. It's been crazy. We were not expecting how uh, the Wii was just kind of blown up this year. Burnout 2. There's one I don't see all that often. wonder what this is like. I haven't spent too much time, Dan, with the DS Mario Kart. I'd love to, though. I, big Mario Kart fan. Who do, you, who do you play as when you play Mario Kart? My, I myself, I'm a toad. Yo, what's going on, Earthworm Joe? How's it going? I saw your post. I can't wait to get into there today. It's just been a busy day here, but I can't wait to get in and see some of that. Oh, I don't see these very often. So here's the Wii console. And the Wii connects here with AV cables, but this little guy allows you to connect with an HDMI. So you plug this in here, and then your HDMI cord can come out of the back. Really cool little piece right there. Another HDMI converter. This would work for um, the GameCube, for example. GameCube controller, power cords. Here's the nunchuck for the Wii. Another black one. Tiny little GameCube memory card. And a third-party controller here as well. Oh, 
another memory card down here too. Cool little GameCube collection. All right, let's move on. We got one more to get to. If you like seeing these kind of unboxings, this is the sort of stuff I do regularly on our Facebook page. So if you're not um, following us on Facebook, you should definitely check it out. Post all kinds of cool things there. Got a new video coming up tomorrow. Okay, let's see what's inside here. <gasps> More GameCube? Simpsons Road Rage. This is awesome. This was like what? Grand Theft Auto for an entire generation, right? Pikmin 2. Always thought this cover art was so crazy. It's like a hyper-realistic lobster back here with these little Pikmin people. Sega Soccer Slam. I don't know too much about this one. Poyo Pop Fever. I don't see that often either. You want us to open up a Sweden branch? I love that idea, Marvin. I love that idea. Bloody Roar. Dominic, Nintendo 64 has been huge this holiday. Bait and Kato's. That's a nice looking game. Bust a Move 3000. Dual screen and developer system. Is that what DS stands for? That's really cool. I didn't know that, Joe. Evolution snowboarding. I love snowboarding games. No problem. No problem, Marvin. Um, Blood Omen 2. Ultimate Spider-Man. Have you seen the new Spider-Man movie? I've heard it's so good. Virtua Quest. Several of these titles I'm not super familiar with, which is weird. You know, if there's GameCube games coming in that I haven't seen. Oh, son, no, if you should definitely, if you like this kind of stuff, definitely follow us on Facebook. That's where I do the majority of my stuff. Unboxings three times a week, giveaways on Friday. Come on. Beauty Metroid Prime. PN03, product number 03. I don't know too much about this one. Beyond Good and Evil? All these games I'm showing off are going up onto our website, dkoldies.com. Eternal Darkness. Oh, this one's got such a neat little backstory to it where, like, the game would kind of play tricks on you. It would adjust the volume of the game and, and make um, the screen kind of flicker so you thought there was something wrong on your end, but the game was just fooling with you. It was neat. Turtles? Yeah, is Eternal Darkness? What do you think of that, Jared? I know. Auto Modelista. What? Yeah, we do carry the Nintendo Switch. Just started carrying it. Time Splitters? Good one. Oh, Ikaruga. Wow, this is a hard one to find. Check it out. This is kind of one of those bullet hell style games where there's just a ton of bullets coming at you on the screen. Oh, wow. Neat find. We don't get that in very often at all. Ultimate Muscle, the Kinney Cumin Legacy. What? See you, Dominic. Bait and Kato's Origins. Yeah, what do you got, Dry Bones? Killer Seven. What is this like? Oh, the art style looks really neat in that. Samurai Jack. Was this based off a movie? The Shadow of Aku. That looks really cool as well. Looks like we got two more down in here. Darkened Sky. Is that a nice shape? Cool. And it looks like we're rounding this one out with iNinja. I can't believe we had two GameCube collections today. That's what's so cool about doing these unboxings. I don't know what's going to be in the boxes. I had no clue it was going to be two GameCube collections back to back. That's what's so much fun about this. All right, so is it a good idea to buy a Game Boy Color and replace it with a Pokemon shell? 
Don't know too much about that dry bones. Honestly, for the most part here, we like to keep it 100% original, but uh, I'm sure you can find some info out there. Anyway, these GameCube games, GameCube, all this stuff I'm showing off here is going up under our website, dkoldies.com. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, if you like this kind of stuff, please check us out on Facebook. Catch you next time.